As you saw, it's stormy across California tonight. It's a break, but not a solution to the extreme drought. Have a look at Lake Oroville, which is north of Sacramento. This is 2011. Now look at Lake Oroville last month. It is going to have to rain a long time to end this drought. It may be the single biggest worry for Governor Jerry Brown, who spoke with us yesterday. Well, uh, this is about the worst drought, no, no question. So this is a serious human challenge and, and an economic challenge for our farmers and for a number of, of small communities. Half of the produce in all of America comes from California. What does the drought mean to the country? Uh, the drought means that nature is real. The natural systems now are not supplying our water. We're going to have to adapt, and each year we'll take a look at it and act prudently. We'll invest in new technology. Uh, we're going to have to uh, be very inventive, but uh, if it continues, uh, it is going to hurt uh, the production of food and fiber from California. It'll affect people uh, not just in California, not just in the United States, but even in the world. Thursday, you filed the papers to run for uh, another term as governor. Why do you want another four years? What do you want to accomplish? Well, I like this kind of work. I've been doing it now for quite a uh, bit of time. Uh, but I've had some success, and I see uh, great opportunities uh, even still in building a high-speed rail and taking care of our water needs, in fixing our unfunded pensions, in actually making our prison realignment work, and in making a reality out of our returning power to local schools. You were, in 1975, one of the youngest governors ever in the state, and now in 2014, you're the oldest governor ever to serve. What's the difference between Governor Brown 75 and Governor Brown 2014? Well, lots of years, uh, lots of decades, lots of experiences. I know better what works. I have a sense that things take a, a longer time. Now I can look back to 1974, that was 40 years ago, and can see how long it takes to actually get things done. I'm working on projects that uh, I started when I was governor the first time. So I'd say the difference is I have more patience. I was in a big hurry. I ran for president uh, with less than two years. You've run for the Democratic nomination three times. It's coming around again. I know, but I am very excited about being governor. I'm being successful, and I understand that you've got to stick to things and work not just day by day, but year by year. And that's where, where my heart is, right here in California. Was that a no I heard? Uh, you could construe it as such. Brown heads into his reelection campaign with a 60% approval rating among likely voters. By the way, the governor's dog joined us for the interview. His name is Sutter. He is a 10-year-old corgi. Sutter has his own Facebook page on which he identifies himself as California's first dog. And he says he loves walks in the park. And as you can see, tummy rubs.